dozens of volunteers have spent every single night and morning all summer long making sure sea turtle nests thrive on area beaches. ABC 15's Amanda Kinzid is live this morning with the Garden City Surfside Beach Sea Turtle Guardians, a part of the Scoot organization, and some baby turtles that are now named Amanda and Keith. Yes, yes, we have a little Amanda and Keith down here, and this is so exciting. You guys are doing the inventory. These two guys came out, and now one of the most exciting moments, they're going to make their trek to the ocean. Yeah. You're, we're ready whenever okay. you are. Okay, so here. <laughs> I'll pick up Amanda. You've got Keith. They are ready and ready to go. Just set them right down. there. Good. Yeah, All you right. got and it. And the race begins. This way, guys. This and way. And you might have to turn around. Sometimes okay. they go the wrong way. <laughs> okay. Oh, they're so cute. You got cute. it. Turn it around. Now, Amanda and Keith, now that they've hatched, they're okay. going to make their way out into the ocean <laughs> where they will spend the next three days swimming 60 miles until they get to the Gulf Stream. Once they get to the Gulf Stream, they'll stay on the western side of it in the Sargasso Sea, where they will get to eat all of the algae and the plankton while they grow. And then they make their way to the south, where they meet up with a mate. They, the mama turtle then comes back up this way, and she usually nests within a very short um, area from where she was originally born from. A lot of people ask how they can help us. One of the most important things is turn your lights out at night, see turtles dig in the dark. Make sure you pick up your beach toys in all of your beach chairs. Make sure that if you dig any holes, that you fill all of those holes back in. And that way we keep the turtle mamas when they come on shore safe and also any humans that might be walking along the beaches. Tag's going to help them out a little bit because they've been in the bucket for a little while. Oh, here they go. They're so close to the water now. <laughs> and so those are our, those are our green turtle babies. Go, Amanda, go. Now stay still, just in case he comes back in. Nobody move. They're going to go around. Wrong way, buddy. Keep Yay! going. Okay, Super Keith's exciting. almost to the water. <laughs> oh, nobody move. Nobody move because they're going to come back in. Sometimes they just got to take a little bit to get those little flippers working. Oh, there they go. Aren't they they're cute? <laughs> Look at that face. He's ready. Sit real still. <laughs> oh, I'm like squealing over here. Zach and, Zach and I are glued to the screen. And Keith was lagging, so we're going to have to give him a little bit of um, grief later. It's been a record season for sea turtle nests on our local beaches. ABC 15's Amanda Kinseth is live this morning with the Garden City Surfside Beach Sea Turtle Guardians, a part of the Scoot organization, and some baby turtles, right? Yes, the baby turtles, here they are. This is so super exciting. And this is, I mean, for you guys, this is a big thrill too, because oh, this absolutely. is one of the reasons you do this. Yeah. And it's even a bigger thrill because we just inventoried this nest and we have a 96% hatching ratio. So that is amazing. Yes. Yeah. So that's, those are the numbers that we really uh, count because it's how many of these turtles hatched out of the eggs. Um, shows that you know this was a good successful nest. Mama Green did a great job with this one, laying this nest here. Um, we keep stats for on all of our nests. Um, we have a whole book of all the information, details of each nest. We send it into uh, seaturtle.org and to the uh, Department of Natural Resources. So they track every nest in the state. Right, so. right. And yeah, you can see how the inventory went and you carefully take out the, the hatched eggs. And all but the, three eggs. The babies, if there are any, which there was one right at the top. She was yeah. ready and waiting to come out. Oh, right? And that one was Amanda. Yeah. We named that turtle Yeah, Amanda. so you can see the turtles. <laughs> and, and then in the bottom was little Keith. Yeah. <laughs> so, there they are right there. So yeah. I, I am super excited. I've never had a little baby turtle named after me. You before. do now. So these turtles will grow yeah. up and hopefully the mama will come and back. And they can here. live up to 100 years. Wow. Yeah. So you will carry on. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and talk about, I mean, you've got a huge group there here. And this is only half of the people. Yeah, this is about half our team. You guys work really hard, but you enjoy yes. what you do. Oh, too. we love it. We love it. I mean, our heart is 100% in this all the time. So. Yes. Yeah, anybody who runs into us hears nothing but turtles. And that's what we talk. Yes, and I am 100% thrilled because <laughs> baby turtles, the beach, this is amazing. Oh, and we've got something that we all want to say to Crystal, right? Okay. Yes. All right, go for it. Hi. Hey, Crystal. We love you.
<laughs> oh my gosh, I love you all so much. See, I walk by these Scoop members on my beach walks all the time and I get to see some of this in action. They really do great work. You can learn more on their Facebook page. Welcome back. Dozens of volunteers have spent every single night and morning all summer long making sure sea turtle nests thrive on area beaches. ABC 15's Amanda Kinseth is live with the Garden City Surfside Beach Sea Turtle Guardians, a part of the Scoot organization. That's right, and check it out. They don't even let me wear a shirt. <laughs> <laughs> so this is just thrilling to be out here this morning. And um, we're going to show, so this is a green, green sea turtle. turtle, which is um, fairly rare for our coast. So that's really exciting. And then you guys are about to inventory the nest. Absolutely. So go ahead and start and talk about what's happening. Okay. So this is the end result of, of many days of protecting a nest for a, a green turtle. She's... Uh, the nest is hatched three days ago according to DNR regulations. Uh, we wait three days before we inventory a nest. At this point in time, we're going in to count. We know there were 80 plus eggs in this nest, so we're going back now and we're counting everything that's left in the nest. So we'll have an inventory, it's called an inventory, and we'll count everything. We'll know what is hatched, what is not hatched. Hopefully, for the public to see, we'll have some live baby turtles yes. in here. They're, the baby greens are absolutely <laughs> beautiful turtles to begin with and uh, again this is our mama green nest she's she's our kind of our beloved turtle we've been tracking her for more than 10 years and she comes up here about every two years to lay a nest so this is her year uh this is she's on nest four or five now so we're expecting her back uh, hopefully at least one more time and we'll know from the dna results at the end of the season what exactly she's done and where she's laid yeah so she's usually sight faithful to us <gasps> oh <laughs> Oh, wow. <laughs> Careful about so much oh, white light. Yeah. It's, it's been in the it's dark. Gonna get scared. Turn down the lights a little bit. Oh, my gosh. Turn the door. <gasps> Look at that. Oh, my gosh. This might be one of the most exciting live shots of my life. <laughs> oh, Crystal, do you see this? It's been a record season for sea turtle nests on our local beaches. ABC 15's Amanda Kinseth is live this morning with the Garden City Surfside Beach Sea Turtle Guardians, a part of the Scoot organization with The Look. Good morning. Good morning, that's right. Yes, I am so super excited because first of all, turtles happen to be my favorite thing ever. Um, and there is a nest here that already hatched, right? Yes, it hatched Saturday night. So what does that mean for us this morning? Well, three days after a nest hatches, we have an inventory where we dig up the eggs, we count them, and we do a report for the Department of Natural Resources. And if there's hatchlings still in the nest, we release them down to the beach and let, usually it's a public inventory, this one is private for you, and um, we release them and let them go out to sea. So yeah. we don't know what we're going to find in this nest this morning as we inventory it. But there is a chance we might see some baby yeah. turtles this morning on live TV. That's right, that's right. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just can't contain myself. It's okay, we get excited too. <laughs> and this is actually a, a green turtle. Yes, this is, this is a very... Uh, rare green turtle. Uh, uh, the green turtles are rare to the South Carolina coast. They mostly nest in Florida, um, but she is a very special turtle. We, nor uh, we affectionately call Mama Green. Oh. She comes every two to three years faithfully to one-eighth of a mile of this beach. Oh, wow. And she lays four to six nests a year. Wow. different clutches of eggs about every two weeks she comes back and lays another nest and we all anticipate her coming back when it's her due time well we're so glad she came crystal Oh, I know Amanda and I share a love for sea turtles, but if you can see that live this morning, it'll be so much fun. We'll be checking in with them all morning. 